Okay. Um, so yeah, today we're doing Guild War. Um, yeah, today I'm actually going to show off, uh, what's her name? Uh, Yulha, actually. Which, you know, I'll show you the stats at the end of the video. Um, we'll do some uh, summons here first. Just because we've got a free 10 pull here at the beginning and uh, we still need... Oh, I got these apparently. Let's try some of these. Just like I said, because you know, some people like to watch summons and then uh, not watch like the main content, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You watch whatever you're going to watch. So I have until the 20th of July. This is good. Uh, let's go here. I'm almost tempted to just switch over to um, a Tywin, like on this pity. Just because I think a Tywin's going to benefit my account a lot more than her. Um, but that's just me. Uh, what else was there? And again, we had these 10 summons. This is the main reason I was going to do summons on, on here, just because the whole 10 summons. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're not getting anything. I'm not going to click it just to see. Is there anything from the regular RGB that I really need? Not really. I mean, artifacts, sure, like Elbrus is always good. Uh, but otherwise, it's not a whole lot I need from here. I got paranoid there for a second. I was like, I better go check my microphone to make sure I'm uh, <laughs> actually recording sound. Um, be funny, I don't know, Does so well, I, I, you can probably check it down there in the little list of, of what's available. I was wondering if, like, is it possible to pull, like, a Eula out of Covenants? Um, I'm not sure. Let's go take a look here. Is Eula in this list? Is this alphabetical? I kind of doubt it. I don't know why I'm looking at this. This is dumb. But I got kind of curious. So they get a, presumably, if I can't find her here, hopefully I'm not just looking too fast, but yeah, I couldn't find her here. So presumably they get added in after, right? Like this is this banners here and then afterwards they get added to the pool. That's kind of interesting. It was just nice to see the, the transition there. Um, going to Guild War. So I mentioned that the the Q the Q, yeah QOL stuff, the quality of life stuff, um, wasn't gonna be that big a deal, uh, and it, it kind of isn't. But like, you get kind of into your routine, and you click on that, and it's scary because you don't know where anything is anymore. Everything's all shoveled around. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so this is this this is us. Uh, let's take a look here. So like I said I was gonna change this up here. Uh, but I ended up not changing it, so, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, so apparently last Guild War we did pretty well. Um, that's, I didn't participate in that one because I forgot, as usual. Uh, let's take a look here. So we've got, somehow, it came down to Cerise versus her and Cerise won. That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, he should have really just killed us all. I don't know why this healer's here. They're probably... Should have brought another healer, maybe? I'm not sure. I guess she's alright for her, but this is why I kind of need to get rid of her. Um, and again, her AoE is not as important, because right here, her AoE is only multiplied by 3, because you're only hitting 3 units, whereas in um, uh, Arena, you're hitting 4 units, right? So keep that in mind. It's not it's not bad, it's not bad. It's just you're missing 25% of the damage that they could potentially be doing. Uh, this team apparently won. Um, I'm assuming he went first or something. Maybe got a stun or two, and then she cleansed. And then she just went and bombed everybody. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, so the, we, we saw both of them. Oh, no, we didn't. This person wanted to come in cleansing debuffs, like, really hard because they brought two cleansers. And he was supposed to do something. I'm not sure why he brought him. I guess maybe this is the only good grass damage dealer you have, but I'm obviously kind of doubtful of that. Um, but, you know, take that as you will. Um, yeah, Dilibet is no joke, which now I have to go check the, the crit damage thing. Obviously, we lost here. This, this team looks like they know what they're doing more. Uh, again, we kind of lost here just because um, Violet is kind of hard to deal with if we don't have, like, specific counters to her. Um, here, they just cleansed uh, buffs with her. Uh, she dumpstered her, and then she proceeds to dumpster her because her S1 with your Beard's Tooth, if she's running a Beard's Tooth, uh, penetrates her defense a lot, and most of your survivability comes from defense. So you know, take that as you will. Um, and then obviously, you know, Landy's here. So 
Yeah, it went about as bad as it could have gone. Um, I'll actually be right back. I gotta go check something. Okay, so we're back. Um, so let's take a look at what we have here. So I think the first thing I'm gonna try to do is try to find a team with um, what's her name, uh, um, Hua Young on it, which shouldn't be hard because she's everywhere. But uh, this one up here looks kind of interesting. I like you. I like you here. Now I need something for her. I guess, I mean, probably, I think she'd be pretty good here, actually. Let's try, uh, no. Hmm. I need, I think I need a light bait. A good light bait. And actually, yeah, so I, I, one of the things I went to check while I was gone was that the uh, crit damage set has already been buffed, which is kind of interesting to me how fast that was, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, the point being that, like, my Dilibet now, and I'll show some stats at the end this time, I usually don't um, as common practice, but this time I will, just to see that um, she's now at 350 crit damage, plus the uh, she's wearing the Draco plate, which is another 30 crit damage, which is, like, mind-boggling at this point. Um, let's see. Down here is looking kind of rough. Um, what if we do this? Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring... Where is... I'm going to bring Eula. Oh, no, not Eula. Uh, you. I'm going to bring... Where is the... Water lady here. Uh, you. We'll bring you. Uh, one of the things that we remember was obviously she got a little more speed. Not, you know, it's not going to be super noticeable, but it's not going to be bad either, right? Hopefully we can survive the damage coming out of this. Um, she probably has immunity, which is going to be a problem. So she's going to have to strip first and then S3 afterwards. So hopefully we can st not stop, but like deter some of the follow ups and then go from there. Um, I chose this one just because it looks kind of interesting. Um, obviously, I already kind of failed looking for Hua Youngs to fight against, but it is what it is. I want to see how hard <laughs> uh, Dilibet's going to hit. So here comes this guy. Uh, you get to go now. Uh, let's get all these off of everybody. Uh, we're just gonna kill... I, I feel like I could just kill her right here, but I'm just gonna kill you just because you're rotating. Oh my gosh, this change to him is insane. Like, it's so much fun. This is like my... Obviously, it's like... They're like my favorite changes. Like, when people make the units not just stronger on a basic level, but also like a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, look at that burn damage, though. Oh, I forgot I reset her thing, so hopefully he doesn't die off of this. He didn't. Good. Man, he almost did, though. See how much damage I do off of this. 6k? It's not too bad. She usually has a lot of defense, so that's probably why. So there you go. Not too bad. This guild does seem pretty strong. Not the strongest, mind you, but strong enough, certainly. Um, so kind of what we said happened here, so we're going to just... gonna boost her up that's fine um, let's go over here I think I mean obviously dizzy going into um, her wasn't the best idea just because she's water to grass but uh, that being said I think hopefully she'll do fine right she won't do too bad oh there we go free counterattack so now the immunity is gone and she gets to go and that's good so one of the things, again, what makes Counter Dizzy so good is that, like, you can just wait for people to, like, drop their um, immunities um, after turn one, which is good. And I don't have any cleansing other than um, Researcher Carrot up there, which, you know, is fine. And we landed all the debuffs, which is good. So we basically, hopefully we won at this point. Um, hopefully I'm not counting my chickens too early here, but uh, this, this whole, this, this happening is kind of devastating. Um, to a team like this. 
to boost you back up again. So get everybody with this. We're gonna. Oh, we actually hit the uh, dizzy there, or the uh, landy. I don't know if it worked on her. I didn't see, but either way, it's fine. Our biggest threat is her, obviously. We just gotta get over. Uh, let's see you. So she's gonna hit with this. Hopefully she misses. Uh, she's gonna miss the waters, which is 30% or 60% of my team. Um, no, she's gonna hit the water. She's gonna miss the one fire. I had like my elements are reversed here. Um, we're just gonna kill. I'm gonna try to kill you. Let's see what we can do here. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Sit you with this. Let's push you up. Okay, so this actually turned out really good. And again, I mean, so it's just, it's easy to just kind of forget how strong Dizzy is. Um, but I'm always happy to like re be reminded of you know even myself. Um, yeah, Dizzy's amazing. I, I need to like, I really do want to just sit here and focus on a Dizzy build. Um, again, for those of you who there's been a lot of new subscribers, so it's not uncommon. But for those of you who don't know, Dizzy was probably like the first five star I pulled on this game because I came in during the Guilty Gear collab. Uh, she basically just carried me through the entire game. It was like her and Angelica carried me through the entire game. It was insane. Um, so yeah, it was her, and then at some point I got Ravi, so it was them three, and yeah, you know, just fond memories of the intro to this game. Okay, so there's no, there's no Eula here, or uh, there's no, what's her name here? Oh, this team already pisses me off, but whatever. We're gonna bring, we'll bring Eula into this. My Eula's S3 is maxed, but her S1 is not, and the S2 is minimal. Bring you, and we're bringing you. Okay, so hopefully she'll survive this. I kind of doubt it. She's got like 27k HP. She shouldn't be able to kill her, but uh, I don't know. Um, hopefully he can just kill her, and we can be done with it, but we'll see. Uh, up here... Okay, this is an interesting one. I'll bring you. Let's see. Should I just bring Dizzy again? Uh, Dizzy's gonna trigger Ram a lot, and that that's not something I want. Uh, yeah, we'll leave we'll leave Hua Young here. That's a good choice, I think. Who do I want up here? Okay, let's hope, um, let's hope this means anything. Let's see. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot else I can do here. Just gotta hope for the best, I guess. Okay. It's very slow. Oof, yeah, it hit her. That's sad. Um, I'm just gonna try to push you back. See if we can get this off. Nope. That's fine. Uh, who's this gonna hit? Oh, cool. Well, now that he took a huge chunk of damage, most of them, they're just gonna dump most of their damage into him, so that's pretty good. See how much damage I get off of this. Not a whole lot, probably, but... Yeah, there's not a lot, and then there's not enough CC to really, uh... <laughs> really do much to him. Okay. And here comes another one. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take that S3 and kill... somebody with it. I should probably kill Ram, huh? Oof. Actually, seeing as she's he's so low, I might just kill her. Nah, I'll just kill her. The thing with Rem is like, she takes patience to kill. Cause if you S three too early with Violet and you don't kill Rem, 
Um, the problem being that um, Rem now has like, uh, what's it called? The Secret Scythe, and she's just hitting people like all over the place, dealing massive damage. This shield is so irritating. Oh my gosh. There goes my crown. Let's see how much damage you do on this person here. Not a whole lot, sadly. See that? See what I mean? Like, oh, he's gonna hit her. Yep, that's fine. I hate shields so much. Ah, oh, they're so irritating. So we're gonna lose Hua Young probably. Hopefully we don't lose this just 100%. Oh, and then he's bringing back Ram. <laughs> this could not have gone any worse than it's actually going right now. Um, but whatever. We'll see how this goes. And of course, yeah, she's almost dead. Uh, we're gonna hit you with this. I should have. I mean, I, not 100% should have, but like, I really needed to kill Lilius because she's really the shield Lilius is throwing out there is beyond infuriating. Come on, dodge! Thank you. And then she still hits hard enough. You see what I mean? Like, she still hits hard enough, even though he's grass and she missed. Let's see if she kills him. Uh, that was annoying. We lost two units and we didn't even win. Let's see how we're doing here. So far so good, except that I think Yula is not low enough to just get one shot, so she might just die if I don't get the reset here. Uh, we're just going to hit you with this. Does he have attack buff? I don't know. For some reason I thought he had attack buff. I wish he had attack buff, right? All we can do is hit this. She's at 228 speed, like 230, something like that. Alright, he's done. See how much this is for? Almost 8k. So we got a draw. That was embarrassing. That's why we that's why we show these off. So people can see our, our failures and we can learn from our own failures. Ugh, that was disgustingly bad. Uh, we lost to this one right yeah, uh, up here. So we lost to this team up here. I could probably try this team with... Like, instead of having her, have Cerise here and then have these two. But this is kind of the same team I have already, right? This is basically... Like, instead of her, it's... Um, uh, Bellian, and instead of her, it's Cerise, right? So to some degree, I have an analogous version. Uh, we were going to take that, but there's no Hua Young there, so let's go over here. Well, this is very interesting. Let's try this. Let's see what this is about. Uh, we're going to try you up here. We're going to try... I need a dark unit to take her hits. Okay, and then we're going to bring... Should I bring... Hmm. I better just bring you. See how that works out. She's gonna hit her. Probably cripple her with whatever she does. Like, not cripple her, but you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> negative things are gonna happen, bad things are gonna happen. He's gonna hit everybody. Hopefully, no one dies, and then she's gonna hit her. I have a feeling she's probably gonna die. Um, because of him and her combined. So maybe I should bring somebody with like uh what's the what's the word? What's that uh 
an Adam and Shield, but I don't have that many units with Adam and Shield right now. We should try. The only Adam and Shield unit I have is her. So maybe I should try her. Uh, that sounds kind of dumb though. Um, hmm. Maybe I should just try using this. This seems really dumb, but I'm just gonna do it anyway, just to flex. <laughs> not really flexing anything, but you know what I mean. Like, um, why not? Let's see. Yeah, we're going with these two. Um, we need an AOE unit. Nobody here. Oh, she has buffs. Um, she does that before though. Uh. Should we just bring Landy? Oh, Landy the solution here? Let's just try and see what happens here. Don't exactly have high hopes, but... Or maybe Arby to hit her twice. Nah, let's just throw RB in there. I haven't used RB in like forever, so let's just see what happens. Oh, he went first. That's our interesting. Damn, that means he's like 290 or something. He's he's 290 plus. Now, I could have lost the RNG roll and like... Yeah, this is embarrassing. And he's dead. Okay, so basically anyone fast... Anyone with a lot of speed in this game is just going to go one for one against whoever has the highest speed on their team, which I thought was interesting. Um, and look at that. So 27 HP meant nothing. Um... Kind of to be expected, but it is what it is. So we're just gonna have to kill you. If she doesn't die. <sighs> so we basically got out geared here, right? Because there's like. Did you see that? She procced for 15,000! Without an attack buff. This is a gear issue more than it is a skill issue. <laughs> At least to me, maybe I'm maybe I'm making excuses here, but um, that is be, like outside the realm of like acceptability, right? Like I'm not, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, maybe I'm just complaining. But fifteen thousand on an S one from her is is a nigh unacceptable amount of S one damage. <laughs> like no unit should be doing that much damage on an S one. Uh, death penning the way she does so Let's see if we kill her. We did not which is fine Hopefully he dies here Yeah, okay, she's killed Arby And now we get this and we get to kill whoever Yeah, this is a this is a gear um, a gear check because we not only did we lose like not not only did he hit like in way too hard uh, second of all, we also got outsped by a closer Charles, which is... We'll go look at his speed, but he's degrees of magnitude slower than... He should be degrees of magnitude slower than, um... Than Cerise. Let's go set, we'll, we'll take a look at his speed. We'll take a look at my... <laughs> at my build of her. See how much health she has. No, oh, no, I'm gonna have to kill her. Um, we'll just... Yeah, she's gonna die. Either way. I'll have to look at the footage. Oh no, okay, here we go. Okay, never mind. I'll have to look at the footage and see um, which health she had. Uh, but yeah, that first one was just gear. Um, it is what it is. So let's go take a look here at the journal, and then I'll show off my, my Yolha build so you guys can see how <laughs> basically worthless she is. Um, like I said, maybe that's just me. Um, I built her on Aureus, so she took a little more damage than she should have. She has 27. She took 24, 25 from that S3, um, which means that she took a total of 2,000 to 3,000 damage from the Aureus. But if you can't run on Aureus, to me personally, it's like, why run her at all, right? Like, Granted, she'd be good. Without Aureus, she'd be good against PvE in terms of, like, uh, PvP bots. She's good against bot AI, right? Where Hua Young just charges her and that's it. But you need to have her be effective outside of that, which is my main concern. 
Closer Charles, let's look at your speed. 113 speed. He got enough speed to at least hit 290 when Cerise reaches 122. Um Yeah, I don't know what to, I don't know what to, if you want me to tell you about that. And that was just pure uh wallet combat. Uh let's go look at what am I looking at here? Uh, if anybody wants to see her build, 100% crit chance. Um, I'm, I'm overcapping a little bit because if I get another copy of her, she's basically going to be useless. But anyway, not exactly 350, mind you, um, but 349. Um, and then obviously Draco play gets her up to um, 380 uh, with pretty good defense. And like I said, I like to keep her having some health, but it's not my main focus. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, I mean, this looks pretty good to most of you. Uh, that means that you have more crit damage. Yeah, you're getting closer. His build's not very good. For anybody who wants to see, uh, as you can see here, he's insanely squishy. So, don't don't take my build. Um, it's not bad. Just you know, he's kind of a like um, just come in, do as much as you can, and then if he dies, he dies. Right? It is what it is. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, let's see what else here. Uh, obviously, we're gonna look at Yulha. Here she is. Uh, this is and this isn't even maxed. This is halfway to being maxed. Right, fifteen percent. Normally, this should be twenty percent. Twenty-seven thousand HP, two twenty-eight speed, decent H, uh, decent defense. Like, look at these stats. Right, these stats are pretty good. Um, what was I missing? So this didn't even trigger because she died on the one shot. This doesn't matter, and this doesn't really matter. Right. So uh, the point, the point, of, the reason I'm pointing these things out is so people can like isolate why she, you know, what happened. Right. So it's like it's not a factor of like she didn't one shot, she didn't whatever, she, you know. Molas aren't an issue. Uh, it's just specifically difficulties on her end to be very successful. Like I said, does that mean she's going to be useless in RTA? Not necessarily. Um, but if she if she's struggling against AI, and like I said, maybe I just brought the wrong team. So you, if you want to point, if you want to make that a point, then by all means, uh, make that a point. Um, that's up to you to decide, right? Um, but you have to remember, this is the kind of build you want to bring her into RTA. You can you can change this, and maybe she would have survived that S3, and then I would have had enough time to one-shot Hua Young or someone back. That's not really that, like, it's not that big a deal, because we saw a Yulha fight against us with Elbrus Ritual Sword, and that really isn't any different than running Krow with Eld Elbrus, right? Like, am I not right? You know what I'm saying? Like... That's kind of the way I'm looking at it. Um, she doesn't do enough damage off of this to really make her like a threat that you have to take her out. Um, so you just kill everyone around her, and that's basically what I did. I killed everyone around her. She was the last one, and then she did, basically did piss all, right? Um, so again, she's a little faster than Krow, uh, but she's still lacking in a lot of areas. Um, yeah. Like I said, I, I like her. I mean, I, I don't regret pulling her at all. Uh, I just like her artwork, and I like, you know, I like her kit kind of. But like I said, it's just, just not going to be easy to use. Because if you want her to just bait Hua Youngs all day, then you're going to be happy. Like, this is a good unit for you, right? If all you want to do is sit there, tank Hua Youngs, and one-shot them back, then, you know, knock yourself out, right? I'm glad you have a unit to do that. But we have other ways of dealing with Hua Young. Um, and, you know, just using her isn't really that big a deal for me. Um, like I said, my combo of, of Ramiru with Krau is slightly better because not only does Krau give most of your team more survivability, so whoever's in the third slot is more tanky, but Ramiru can basically one-shot Hua Young anyway, right? So take that as you will, right? Um, but yeah, that's kind of, like I said, that's just kind of me. Uh, I'm not underwhelmed by her kit. I'm kind of whelmed as much as, like, I assumed I would be when I pulled her. Now, again, we got kind of out geared there, and I'll have to hope you guys can look back in the footage and see how much HP she had, but she shouldn't be that much higher than mine. I mean, maybe you can get her up to 3,000 HP. Let's take a look here. Um, and that's probably what you want to do, right? So I have her on a speed boot just because I didn't want to give up someone else's uh, HP boot, but you can see it's like 36% HP here. So the, the amount of HP we're going to get in trade here isn't going to be too much. Um, we'll just pretend like she wants this. So we're only going to get about a thousand four hundred more with a six with a full HP boot. 
and we're missing oh actually yeah we're missing that we'll just give her this one 29 with a few more substat rolls and HP here and there you could probably reach 3,000 this is a pretty decent speed on her right uh, 186 because like I said if she gets hit by the um, by the what's her name the the Hua Young she'll boost herself up and it'll basically be like you know her speed is what you want it to be it's how it helps patch up her speed uh, ignore the other stats that this thing gives you obviously 135 you know, percent crit damage isn't really useful but the point being that just like just just consider what a what a maxed out health boot looks like on her and again if you think that'll make her useful in pvp so like in this case if she did have that 3000 30000 hp she would have been able to tank everything from the aureus and then when Hua young went to hit her she would have survived it and then just hit her back for like a bunch more damage so like i said it's up to you how you want to build her um Clearly, you can if you have a health boot, and I might try her again if I have another. If I can find a health boot somewhere, I don't really. As you can see, I don't uh, build a lot of health boots, which are, is kind of sad, actually. But no, it's the wrong set. So that's kind of the only change I would make. Um, my uh, MLCC has been on this boot since I got like this has been on her since I pulled MLCC, which is like MLCC was my first ML five star back in the day. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of other boots to put on her. You, you do need speed to some degree. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, you can probably try that, see how that goes. Um, again, it was 50-50. It was for, I mean, for one, the, the other thing we have to consider is the fact that, um, that Hua Young was hitting way harder than, like, any math, any other Hua Young should mathematically be hitting. I don't know where that 15,000 damage came from. It's really... <laughs> it's blowing my mind right now. Um, but like I said, that whole team was just stacked. <laughs> like it's hard to it's hard to gauge how good she is. I'll probably try her in RTA a little bit just to see how she plays there. Again, I'll I'll run her with the speed boot and the speed set and we'll see how she does. And I'll just I'll just see if she's she, if she's too fast cuz she doesn't need to be that fast. She just needs to be fast enough to get her S3 off and the S2 helps with that, right? So, we'll probably run her with the speed boot. Uh if not, I'll take it off and give her a uh a health boot and looking at it now health boot is probably the way to go um, you can get enough speed on her without the speed boot um, but yeah so take that as you will uh, yeah so till next time like I said uh, hopefully I keep my word this time and uh, put out an RTA video uh, but if not uh, hopefully I have something uh, worth your guys's time in exchange <laughs> um, but yeah so till next time see you guys